Today, LG has invited us to make three holiday-inspired recipes, but the catch? Each one is a relay. Each of us will start the recipe and you'll know what we're making, but we're gonna have to leave clues for the other two. The second chef is going to keep the recipe going for a few more steps and then tag along the last chef. In the end, we'll return in the kitchen to see how he did. This is Recipe Relay. Let's get started. One of my favorite things about the holidays are the leftovers. Today we have turkey leftovers, so I'm going to make a turkey leftover pot pie. And let's see if they can catch on and continue doing the same thing I started. I'm going to begin by um, greasing up this casserole for the pot pie. Now that the casserole is all greased up, I'm gonna go ahead and start preheating the oven. Bake 450. There we go. I'm going to start up a roux a thick broth. I'm gonna go ahead and use an ultra heat burner. I'm gonna put it on medium and start melting some butter. I'm gonna go ahead and add a pinch of salt and start adding the flour little by little. So now that this is thickened a little, I'm going to go ahead and add the broth. Little by little as well so that we don't lose the consistency. I'm gonna go ahead and let this get to a boil, and as soon as it does, I'm gonna move it to my simmer burner. So now that I have this roux going, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some clues for Frankie. I think this is enough for Frankie to figure out what's going on here. Let me give him a call. Frankie! Here I am. Fra Hi, how are you? Nice Good, to see how you. are you, man? What have you got here? I have several clues for you to finish off this amazing dish. How do you feel? I feel good. I will uh, I will take it from here. Thank you very much. Wow, you really set me up. Good huh? luck. Oh, man, you, you are set up for success. Well, let's see what we got here. It looks like he's made a roux with stock. I think that would make it a velouté. Let's try it. Delicious vegetables, pearl onions. Milk, could have been cream. One is never sure. Looks like chicken, but it's actually turkey. And we've got some thyme. I think we're making a turkey pot pie, which makes a lot of sense after Thanksgiving. Really a lot of sense. Let's put this in here. Very nice. Let's add in some peas and carrots. Milk. I always like to make it a little bit more Liquidious is a word I like to use, uh, because as it continues to bake and cook, it's, it's only gonna get thicker. Pearl onions, Alejandro gave me some thyme. A little pepper. Not only do we have the tryptophan in there, which is gonna put you to sleep, but we have a lot of, of thick and heavy ingredients, which are really, really lovely, but I think giving it a zing adds complexity. So, this is my friend Sherry. She's gonna add this whole upper level of wonderfulness right away. The smell is completely different. It reminds me of my grandfather's kitchen. It smells sophisticated. Add a little bit of salt in here. Let's be honest, the leftovers are better than the actual Thanksgiving dinner. This has got to be what Alejandro was thinking of, for sure. Okay, spread it out. Boom, 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 boom. Just look at the fog coming off of this, it's fantastic. Yes, fog, steam is clear, believe it or not. Okay, let's put this into the oven. All the professional kitchens I've used have the heating element at the back, so you don't burn things to the bottom. When things fall out, they don't burn to the bottom. It creates more even heat. And we've got that right here, Pro Bake. Pretty awesome. So I'm thinking we'll set Jen up to make biscuits, and that way we can sweep up the turkey pot pie with the biscuits. We've got some flour, got some baking powder so that the biscuits rise. She's gonna need a bowl, biscuit cutter. Rolling pin. We need milk and we need butter. So let's see if we have those. Boom. One of these guys is also always a good plan. I think that's it. I think we're ready for, for Jen. Let's see if she gets my drift here. Hey, Jen? Jen? Hey, tagging. Boom. Something smells good. Yes, there's something here. Oh, yeah. Bubbling. That looks like pot pie, man. I'm going to leave you to it, okay? Okay. Go. <sighs> All right, so. Pot pie. This is a crust, no. We've got some milk, so maybe like biscuits. I think Frankie wants me to do biscuits. There's a pastry cutter, all right, all right. So I've got flour. 
baking powder. Okay, I want him to rise a bit, so I'm gonna add quite a bit. Just mix this up a little bit, and now I'm gonna cut some butter. Maybe I'll just use my hands. Just work this in, and add some milk. All right, okay, let's dump this out. It is looking good. It's gonna start rolling it out. I like the idea of biscuits on top of the pot pie. I think Frankie might have wanted it on the side, a little scoop and dupe, but I think it'll be great right on top. It's gonna cut out a few pieces. And now, gotta take out this pot pie. Ooh, smells so good. Oh, little spillage. And that's okay because there's a really cool, easy clean feature on here. Once the oven's cooled down, Alejandro, not me, can come in and clean it up. It is bubbling away and I'm gonna top it off with those biscuits. All right, now back into the oven. That'll take about 15 minutes to bake and when that's done, I'll call the guys back out and we'll see how close we got to Alejandro's original idea. Frankie, Alejandro, let's get back in here. Smell good. I feel like a cartoon flying with the smell, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ready to see it? Yes, please. Yeah. Look at that beauty. Biscuits. Biscuits. Did you want a traditional top? I wanted a, I imagined a traditional top, yeah, but I think this is better. I imagined biscuits on this, there was a biscuit cutter. So, and then I was figuring we'd sweep <laughs> it up like, you know, my Italian roots, sweeping oh. it up. So you can, wanted it on the side? It, this is fine. Yeah. We can good. still do it. There you go. Let's do it. Let's plate up. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, Ooh steamy, babe. steamy. Here you oh go, Frankie. Oh my God. Let's take a bite, yeah? Okay. Cheers. Over ambitious? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. That's good. That filling. Mm. You guys. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. You pretty much have all these ingredients after Thanksgiving, so that's one of the great things about it. Well, um, I was expecting to do something great, but you guys made it even more extraordinary. So thank you very much. This is, a, I think, a very good twist on a traditional holiday meal. We hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time. All right, guys, I've got to admit something. I made a huge mess in the oven, but Alejandro, since you uh, started this recipe, mm -hmm. I think it'd be good for you to finish it and uh, clean right up, yeah? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. See you later. Mm -hmm. Good thing it's an easy clean oven. Now I'm just going to spray the oven down with water, then just turn the knob to easy clean and press start. And after only 10 minutes, you can quickly wipe away any leftover grime.